Hello everyone. Here we will solve the recurrence relation by using iteration method. The iteration method first converting the recurrence equation into a summation by iterating the recurrence until which is reaching the, reaching the initial condition. Here the initial condition is t of 1. It will consume the time 1 unit for execution. For converting the recurrence equation into summation, we will break the given problem with size n into n by 2, then n by 2 will be uh, uh, broken into n by 4, n by 4 will be broken into n by 8, n by 8 will be broken into n by 16, uh, etc. until which is reaching the t of 1. So here the example is given, assume the time complexity with respect to the input size n whenever n equal to only single value then it will consume only one unit of time if the n value is greater than one you assume it will take a t of n by 2 plus c number of steps so here uh, we are having the different uh, number of steps for execution based upon the input size so here first we have to convert that uh, given problem into uh, yeah, uh, from n into n by 2 then n by 2 into n by 4 until t of 1. We will see based upon that here uh, we will take this equation t of, t of n equal to t of n by 2 plus c because we are taking the condition uh, which is greater than 1 n is greater than 1 input size. Now break this problem into sub problems as per the recurrence uh, um, recursive calls by replacing the uh, bigger problem into smaller problem n by 2. Here the c is the constant in this one. So now when you are substituting the uh, n by 2 in the place of n, you will get n by 2. Here uh, we, will, we will substitute here t of uh, n by 2 by 2. Okay. So in this place n by 2 plus c. So we got t of n by 4 plus c. Now we have broken that uh, problem into t of n by 2. So now we uh, substitute this value in the place of equation 1. So in the equation 1 when you are substituting you will get t of n equal to uh, t of n by 4 plus this uh, uh, c. Okay this entire term. Okay entire term is substituted here. Then this c is this one. Okay. Now we are break, uh, breaking this n by 2 into n by 4. So you substitute the value t of n by 4 in the equation 1. So in this place when you are substituting the equation 1 uh, n by 4 so t of n by 4 by 2 plus c okay. So now you got t of n by 8 plus c. Now you substitute this in the place of previous term okay in the previous term this is the value okay this is the value so already there is two c's available in the previous term now t of n by 8 plus this c then already we are having two number of c's so in the previous term so two number of t's right so now t of n equal to t uh, t of n equal to t of n by 8 plus 3 c so now you apply you ob uh, observe some patterns here. So this 8 can be written as a 3. So here we are having the 3C. Okay. So that's what given here. When you are repeating this to reach the initial condition K times, then we can write this equation T of N equal to T of N by 2 power K. K number of times. This is 3 times. So this one is K number of times. If it is K number of times, you will get K number of constants okay that's what given here k number of constants for k times of constants okay so now when you are uh, applying the n equal to 2 power k to reach the initial condition until initial condition we have to keep on uh, iterate this okay so to reach the initial condition here we will apply the n equal to 2 power k then when you will reach the initial condition t of 1 so this is k times of c now you apply the logarithmic in the both side of n equal to 2 power k right log base 2 n equal to log base 2 2 power k when you are applying the logarithmic you will get 
log of n equal to k. So now you got the value here k equal to log n. So now you substitute these values in the equation t of n equal to t of 1 plus kc. So here k is log n, c is the constant. So that's what given here t of 1, t of 1. So t of 1 is consuming 1 unit of time. So that is the constant. So we can ignore this as per the procedure of uh, time complexity calculation. Then this is the coefficient c. So this is also can be ignored when you are comparing with the higher order term. So finally we got log n for the given uh, re recurrence relation t of n equal to 1 unit of time when n great n equal to 1. If uh, n greater than 1 then we will get t of n by 2 plus c some constant. Okay. So this is the time complexity log n for this given recurrence relation. Thanks for watching.